Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to PM Weather. I am student meteorologist Alex Herbst with your forecast for central New Hampshire. Well, Mother Nature was very kind to us today with some warmer air moving into our region, and the snow is beginning to melt on the Plymouth State campus. As April will be moving its way in tomorrow, we'll be seeing the snow continuing to melt throughout the week and much warmer air continuing to enter our region. Our high today was about 41 degrees, and that was set earlier this afternoon with a low of 32 degrees earlier this morning. The normals for this time of year are 47 and 24, so we are definitely working our way towards warmer weather and, more importantly, less snow on the ground. Our sunset tonight will be at about 7.12 this evening. We won't be able to see the moon tonight as it will be 0% illuminated as part of the new moon cycle, and the sunrise will be at about 6.30 tomorrow morning for those of you who are early risers. Our current conditions here in Plymouth as of 5 p.m. show a temperature of 38 degrees with partly sunny skies. Dew point was around 27 and the winds are out of the west-northwest at about 13 miles an hour. Temperatures around New Hampshire show 43 degrees to our south in Laconia, 42 in Portsmouth, and the majority of the 40 degree air is concentrated here in the southeastern part of the state. When we look at the northeast and New England though, we can see it is 54 down in New York, 50 in Bridgeport, Connecticut as this warm air continues to work its way from the south up to the north. In the U.S. view of the temperatures, we can see this warm ridge of air that is sitting over the Ohio Valley and parts of the Midwest. As it's 80 degrees in Dallas, it is 75 in Memphis. That warm air is going to continue to work its way to the east. But more importantly for our friends in the upper Midwest is this cold air that is locked in over the Dakotas and Minnesota as part of a blizzard that is bringing a lot of snow to areas like Grand Forks, North Dakota, International Falls, Minnesota, and parts of South Dakota, even at Mount Rushmore. So, looking at our satellite and radar for here in New Hampshire, we saw a lot of clouds over the region today. So the sun was able to break through and bring us a little bit of nice, warmer air that will be more emblematic of springtime for us here in the northern New England area. As we take a look at the wider view of the northeast, though, we can see that storm system that exited the picture last night as it brought us some light snow and some mixed precipitation for a part of the evening in central New Hampshire. It's currently bringing some snow and freezing rain to our friends on the coast of Maine, and we'll be bringing that precipitation over to the Canadian Maritimes overnight tonight. To our west, though, we can see that storm system that's bringing that snow over the Dakotas and Minnesota and parts of Nebraska as well, and then this leading edge of it that's bringing some scattered showers and thunderstorms to places like Little Rock, parts of Missouri, and even up into Springfield, Illinois. We don't expect this line of storms to continue to hang on much beyond tomorrow as the southern edge of this storm system continues to weaken and will not really bring any precipitation to us here in northern New England. Taking a look at the surface analysis, we can see high pressure sitting over the Tennessee Valley right now that is continuing to pro provide high and dry air for us here in the eastern half of the country. While this storm system over the upper Midwest will continue to move to the east during the day tomorrow and will bring some rain to our friends in places like Detroit and Cleveland in the southern Great Lakes, while the northern Great Lakes will continue to get hit by some snow. The high pressure system that we were just talking about moves off the coast of Cape Hatteras and will continue to control the eastern third of the country with relatively dry air. During the day on Wednesday though, that cold air continues to push closer to New Hampshire, though really it will not be making much of an impact on us during this week. We'll be seeing rain over parts of the Ohio and Tennessee Valley, so areas like Pittsburgh, Louisville, and even down into Nashville should watch for some rain showers during the day on Wednesday. Our model forecast shows that leading edge of that storm that will be moving into our area with these clouds and then it will bring some possible scattered showers and mixed precipitation into our friends in the Champlain Valley. That will be breaking up before it can reach us here in New Hampshire so don't worry about any of that that you're seeing right here on this model as we'll be relatively high and dry through most of this week. Temperatures tonight will drop down into the mid-20s only to rise tomorrow back up to around 40 degrees and drop overnight again to around 30. So for tonight, we'll be looking at a low of about 21 degrees with mostly clear skies. Winds will be out of the north at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. For tomorrow, sunny skies with a high around 40. Winds will be out of the north at 5 to 10. And then for tomorrow night, increasing clouds ahead of that storm system in the Midwest. With a low around 27, winds will be light and variable. So for our extended forecast, we can see sunshine is definitely in the offing this week as temperatures will be rising up to the mid to upper 40s. And Saturday, we could be seeing a few rain showers better than snow, though. 4 p.m. weather, I am student meteorologist Alex Herbst. Have a great night.